ही तो जन्नत मेरी तू ही मेरा जुनू तू ही तो मन्नत मेरी तू ही रूह का सुकून तू ही अखियों की ठंडक तू ही दिल की है दस्तक और कुछ ना जानू मैं बस इतना ही जानू तुझ में रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं तुझ में रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं सजदे सर झुकता है यारा मैं क्या करूं रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं मजबूरी मैंने नजरों से तुझे छू लिया ओ हो हो कभी तेरी खुशबू कभी तेरी बातें बिन मांगे ये जहा पा लिया तू ही दिल की है रौनक तू ही जन्मों की दौलत और कुछ ना जानू बस इतना ही जानू रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं तुझ में रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं सजदे सर झुकता है यारा मैं क्या करूं तुझ में रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं तरसाए तेरा साया छेड़ के चूमता ओ तुझ मुस्काए तुझ शर्माए जैसे मेरा है खुदा झूमता तू ही मेरी है बरकत तू ही मेरी इबादत और कुछ ना जानू बस इतना ही जानू तुझ में रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं तुझ में रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं सजदे सर झुकता है यारा मैं क्या करूं तुझ में रब दिखता है यारा मैं क्या करूं
spouse in the same way that God has loved you. That is, by sending his son to die for all your sins. And so, in other words, by loving each other sacrificially, and most importantly, unconditionally. Ultimately, love is the greatest quality that we can possess, because it imitates the character of God himself in his relationship to us. Defining love best as, quote, an unconditional commitment to an imperfect person. In Holy Scripture, love is not defined as an emotion. It's a verb, an action, a cognitive behavior by which we willfully commit our lives to one another until death do us part, no matter what. And so the vows you'll be making to each other in a few minutes are really greater than the two of you. You see, God has first made a vow to you in Scripture. God states in several places in the Bible, I will never leave you or 
forsake you. And so it's on that basis that you now come together. The vows you make, why they thought that we didn't know, but when you put those rings that you have selected for each other's team, when you put them on, part of you is just to accept the responsibilities of a husband, being Rosie's loving, faithful, and helpful husband, whether in days or Rosie. Will you now freely enter into this holy relationship and accept the responsibilities of a wife? Being Christy's loving, faithful, and helpful wife, whether in days of success or adversity, then answer, I will. By these answers, which you have given after due consideration and serious thought, your purpose and willingness from this time forward to take one another for better or for worse is now affirmed. And now, if you know of nothing legal or moral to forbid your union and wish now to take its vows, indicate that by now coming forward to God's altar to join your hands and hearts through your wedding vows to each other before God and these witnesses. Would you please face each other and join hands? These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day. As you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever, these are the hands that will be folded in prayer for each other day after day. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout the years, and with the slightest touch, will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family together as one. And these are the hands that will give you strength when you need it, in sickness and in health. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours in Christ-like love, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. And so the groom will now repeat these vows to his bride. I, Christy, and you, Rosie, will be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. The bride will now repeat these vows to her groom. I, Rosie, take you, Christy, to be my wedded husband, to have to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. From the earliest time, the golden circle has been a symbol of wedded love, and the ring is made from pure gold to symbolize pure love. Being one unbroken circle, it also symbolizes the unending love that you are to have for each other. Christy, would you take the rings which you have selected for your bride and place them on her finger, saying to her these words, I give you this ring in token and pledge of our mutual love and faith in Christ Jesus. <coughs> Rosie, would you take this ring that you selected for your groom? and place it on his finger, saying to him these words, I be wed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christy, Rosie, since you have promised now to love each other, 
and before God and these witnesses have exchanged these solemn vows, as well as your rings as golden symbols of faithfulness and love, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I recognize you as husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. What therefore God has joined together, let no one put asunder with in heaven. We pray this in Jesus, your Son's name. Amen. And now receive the blessing of our triune God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you always. Amen. Christian Rosie, would you please now stand and face your guests? The new bride and groom and their attendants are going to be greeting all of you at a reception over in our Spirit Center, located across the, the back parking lot after everyone is ushered out from the beginning, uh, from the front of the church to, to the back. But meanwhile, uh, dear friends, I now have the privilege and honor of presenting to you Mr. and Mrs. Christy John. Christy <laughs>
मस्तिया जैसे नैन ये तेरे तेरे मस्त मस्त तो Person, 
and, and just a happy go lucky guy and very laid back. But at the same time, you can always depend on him. You can always count on him. He loves the, uh, the Lord. He loves his family, loves his friends. And uh, I couldn't be more luckier to, to have known him. And now, Rosie, as we uh, had the chance to go to this Israel trip together with Rosie as well. So we had some memorable moments there. Uh, had a wonderful time. And, uh, we thank God for all that. And uh, uh, I would say that I was talking to Christy Bai the other day and uh, you know how laid back he is. I said, how are things going? Is everything uh, coming together? He says, well, Rosie's got it all under control. I just have to show up. So, so there he is. He's always a uh, man of his word. He showed up. And so we congratulate you. We, we, uh, we're happy that uh, God has uh, bound you in this uh, Cords of love and uh, we bless you. And we pray that uh, you will be able together uh, be the couple and, and, and a model, role model to, to many of us. I just want to say, Rosie, congratulations, Christy, congratulations. Take care of her because I will go out to the East Coast if you don't. Personally. But I'm sure I don't have anything to worry about. You've made my aunt very happy and I'm very glad that she has you. Rosie, and vice versa, I'm very glad to have Christy. You both seem very great for each other. Oh 